future. Before the first album was done, we already knew what Richard was going to be. We like literally had it done in our minds. This album hasn't come out yet, and we already actually know what the next album is. I think it's primarily going to be about sex, because we haven't done that subject before, and I think it needs to be more deeply explored. Yeah, and we're horny as fuck. <clears throat> Sean, shut the fuck up! <laughs> We are two naked men in a canoe. We're a band, but it's only two of us. We're just two people. Some people call us a duo, but we're not a duo. We're a band. Band. Two naked men in a canoe. Tell us the story behind us. If it was the imagery of two naked men in a canoe, just turned me, made me so excited that I just, I felt that that was what the album needed to be called, um, and then we didn't have a band name, so we just decided to name ourselves after our first album. Mm -hmm. I've never actually seen Two Naked Men in a canoe. You haven't? He may click all the buttons and sit at the computer desk the whole time, but if you zoom out, zoom out. Do it. It's, it's a prime <laughs> If you zoom out, metaphorically, really, I'm producing the producer, if you think about that. Well, I'm kind of the alpha in the band. I have to guide Sean. Sean just, he really gets off track sometimes. And I just, I just bring him back. I'm like a farmer herding his herd down to the lush grass where Sean can just sit and just, just play those keys, play that bass line, you know what I'm saying? What did I see in Sean? Bass lines. It's basically all I use him for, actually. Yep. I don't. He doesn't do anything else. He puts in the bass line. I do the rest of the song. Yeah. It's just me. That's, uh, that's correct. Oh, shit. Is this going? I'm like a shepherd dog. I'm like the dom in like a BDSM kind of relationship. We don't do that. Um, we, don't, we don't actually do that. But like if, if I were in that situation, I would be, like I would have the like little whip would be wearing that like black strap on, you know what I'm saying? So. Not to get political. If I'm Hitler, if I was Bill Belichick, he's basically Tom Brady, okay? I produce him, which produces the songs because he looks up to me. He's like, he's like my kid and I'm like his dad. I buy him ice cream. I take him to the, to the park because that's what dads do. And then sometimes we're pretty absent and forget to celebrate your birthday, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Fuck you, dad. Yeah, I try and be an absent father to him, which really influences our production style, I think. And you hear that in the music. What are some of the difficulties, some of the struggles that you guys face when creating your art? Too many baby mamas. Um, yeah, our, our girlfriends just kind of really get in front of our, our creative flow. Yeah, most of the mostly people want our money. Our, the side we're, chicks. We're rich. Well, the side chicks That's are the worst fuck. because they yeah. want two things. They want our money and they want our penises, okay? The bros just want the money. The baby mamas just want the penis, but the side chicks want both. Like economically, they want the most demand, but we only have so much supply. Equilibrium point with the baby mama's side chicks. Yeah, this guy's fucking intelligent. This guy fucks. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty confident about the future because I can go off and do this solo thing, and Sean can't really do that because he's not very talented. I'm gonna have to be like a socialist welfare state for Sean. I mean, he's gonna be living in my basement probably. If you learn to code, you actually won't be poor. Like I can teach you, cause I'm, I'm, I'm rich. And I know how to code. I've always wanted to be an Instagram influencer. I wanna have brand deals on Instagram with Dollar Shave Club and Skillshare. No, we just wanna make people laugh. 
but we also want to touch people's souls. And, and doing those two things at the same time is sometimes very challenging and not, not a lot of other artists are able to reach that, but we are. Mm -hmm. and we've demonstrated that. And we're about to do it again with this next album. Drug money, call that a smoke sack, ancient artifacts in my backpack, cars like my women, both things are topless, don't pay much cash, just show who the bosses, doing them, 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 hey, you know what my name is?